Hey there, welcome to A Well-Purposed Woman. I'm Elizabeth and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this cute little Christmas gnome by using up your old Thanksgiving Day tin cans. It's so easy to do in just a couple of steps. So we're gonna get started in just one minute. But before we do, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below and that'll keep us connected on YouTube for future videos. So without further ado, let's get crafting and make this cute little Christmas gnome out of a tin can. So take your tin can and cover it with a sock or some sort of material so that you really can't tell it's a tin can. And I found that socks of any kind really work perfectly with like a 15 to 16 ounce can. Um, just cover it completely with the sock, cut off any of the extra sock, and then just go ahead and stuff the top of the sock into the can. And you can hot glue it into place just so that the sock doesn't move around once you get going here. Um, so just hot glue all the sides of the sock. Now that you have your sock covered, just set it aside because now we're going to be making the gnome's hat. So take a piece of fabric that covers will fit the pattern and you can find the pattern below um, and just cut out that um, pattern on buffalo check or any type of fabric that you think will look cute for your gnome's hat. Now with your right sides together, you're just gonna take your hot glue gun and glue the two edges of the triangle together. And this is gonna form your gnome hat. So just take the hot glue and run it along the edge of the triangle. Then you can just set aside the gnome's hat for now so that it can dry a little bit. And we're gonna take your faux fur and we're gonna cut off the triangle piece, which is going to be the bottom or the beard of our gnome. So you're gonna take the tin can that's covered with the sock and then you're just gonna take some hot glue and you're gonna hot glue the little beard onto the bottom half of your tin can. Now go back to your gnome hat and turn it right sides out. So now that all the gnome parts were complete, it was time to assemble my gnome. So I started by filling the top of the hat with polyfill. I placed it on the tin can to see what it would look like and it seemed like a good fit. So then I decided to assemble the gnome. So I took a small piece of floral foam and I stuck it into the center of the tin can. Then I took a little wooden dowel and set it in the middle of the foam and that helped to prop the hat upright. And then once I liked the position of the hat, then I took my hot glue gun and I just went around the perimeter of the hat with the hot glue gun, gluing and holding it in place um, for several seconds so that it's a nice, um, strong attachment. So the last step in assembling my tin can gnome was to hot glue the nose onto the center of the gnome. So I just put a little bit of hot glue on it and I held it in place for several seconds. And now I had a really cute gnome from my green beans tin can. Isn't he so cute? And just think you could probably make a whole family of gnomes just from the green bean casserole you make for Thanksgiving because it's so simple with these tin cans. And they look great and they sit up really well because the bottom is a nice base um, to sit on a table or mantle. So just so cute. Let me know what you think of our gnome down below. Thank you so much for being here.